Hey everybody, it's Renee from Tailspin Farm. I am a knitter, dyer, spinner, crocheter, and all things fiber. -y. I raise Angor rabbits um, here at our farm in Mid Michigan and um, use their fiber strictly for um, spinning and yarn. I am not a show person per se, so um, yeah, that's what I do. I am hopping on today to give you a little trick and demonstration um, for my rabbits. I right now have 11 rabbits and um, just got five new ones actually. And so I have a new cage tower coming in the mail here soon. Um, and I am updating some of my old cages right now with um, hay mangers. So the reason I use hay mangers is to save on the hay. Um, a lot of times if you don't have it shoved somewhere, um, and this may happen either way, but if you have a place to put it, then the rabbit, you're, you're gonna waste less of the hay and that's important right now. Um, I try to get the bowls that have the hooks on them to save on feed so that they're not dumping that. Um, although I have some tricky rabbits out there that love to pull those things off the cage wall. So um, I'm in the process of going through and revamping some of those. I have, I've been doing this for a really long time. I have been doing this for about 18, 19 years now, um, raising angler rabbits. And so I have updated cages along the way. Um, more recently, um, I have gone to um, nicer cages than what I started with, not knowing the first thing about rabbits when I got them. Um, and so I'm going through and updating water bottles now, which I do typically, um, it depends. I have, the water bottles typically are all right once you clean them out or run them through the dishwasher. Um, oftentimes the nipples, either in the winter I've had them um, freeze up and then if you happen to drop them or something, oftentimes you will break those. So I've had to upgrade those along the way. And I am upgrading the feed bins for also um, because I have a couple of rabbits out there that like to tip their food over. So anything to save money right now is what I'm thinking about. And hay manger is one of those things to save on your hay. Um, it is, hopefully you can hear me, I'm sitting in front of the air conditioner today because it's like 120 degrees in the shade today so it is hot we are going to wander out to the barn on this video so I can show you how I um, attach these but I'm just going to give you a little tutorial on what I found today what I used to use um, and then how I attach them to my cages um, this is actually what I've used over the years these are just little I don't know baskets plastic baskets from dollar store and these I've used for years, um, probably 10, 12 years. And what I've done is cut notches out in the front here. It used to be all like this. Um, cut notches out here and here where you can shove the hay in. These worked fine and I think I still have three or four cages that these are intact but they're plastic, so rabbits will rip these off, they'll chew on them, they'll eat them, um, and so they work all right, and this is actually what I went to look for today and could not find at our local dollar store, um, Dollar General. So I had to come up with something different, um, and they didn't have, our local one isn't always well stocked. So they didn't have anything like this at all. No plastic baskets or anything. And so I thought, okay, what would be the next thing I could try? And so I got a pack of just plastic um, food containers with the lids, knowing that these probably would get chewed on quite a bit quicker because these are just, compared to this plastic even, these are just flimsy plastic. But I thought, well, let's try that for a while and see what we can do. So I did make one of these earlier and get these pulled apart. Um, and I did put one out into one of my cages. So we'll see what she does with it. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll see what she does with it. But I thought we'd try this. As I was looking, I found four of these. Um, and that's all they have at, 
at my local store was four of these and actually I told my husband tomorrow after church we're gonna stop at the other two dollar stores along the way and see if I can find the rest of more of these for the rest of my cages because these are absolutely perfect um, so I'll show you what I did to both of these but this is gonna be my my go-to I think um, in fact I know they will be so all it takes is a couple of tools um, I have wire cutters and um, scissors so for this one I decided just to pop a couple of holes in the back to attach it with did that with sharp scissors so um, and I used to hook these on I just used um, the zip ties which I use those for a lot of things around here these days um, so I kind of keep stock on those and that's all we're going to use to attach these a couple zip ties to the cages and I am just popping holes at least trying to without stabbing myself there just popped holes so I can put a couple of zip ties through and um, for this I decided to put a cover on and then cut you don't want it wide open you do need like I wouldn't want this hanging because there's no place to shove the hay so I'll put the top on. Again, these probably aren't, I'm guessing the rabbits are gonna chew through these pretty fast. Um, but I'm just putting a little hole in the front cover. And so that I can, these aren't the best scissors that I could have chosen today either, but they were around and they'll do the trick. Um, so there, this one is done. That's all I'm gonna do with it. And I'll show you the one I attached this morning, but it's just a spot to shove some hay in so it can stick out and they can reach in and get it. This one is just as easy, um, just wire clippers, and I am just going to clip out a space here um, on the bottom part of it, and it just takes a couple minutes. through it's not real heavy wire but it's heavy enough where the rabbits aren't going to um, I don't think they'll chew on it at all we'll see it is a rubber coated wire there's that and then you just pop it out make sure there's no um, sharp edges for the rabbit to get like his fur caught in or anything like that because I raised the angoras again um, so they do have really long fur so I kind of smooth this down and that's all I'm gonna do to it is take the bottom out um, and so we're gonna run out to the barn and I'll show you how I attach these okay we um, are out in the barn and it's it's again 90 in the 90s outside today um, and this is an insulated barn. I do have fans running, so I hope you can hear me. All right, but um, yeah, it stays in the 70s out here even when it's really, really hot like it is today. So all I've done here, this is Remy. This is one of my new rabbits, and you can see her hay right now is laying down. I usually tuck it into her feeder, uh, the top of her feeder over here, but um, she always pulls it out. So I'm going to attach the basket onto the side of her cage. I've taken whatever tool this is and I've squeezed um, these. I actually probably could just cut these and I might do that with the next one I do. I probably could just cut the handles right off. Um, they aren't necessary and so I just squeeze them so that they can fit through the sides here, the slats, and I'm going to run the zip tie right through and hook it on here and then just tighten it. This is probably the hardest part of the whole thing. So tighten it down. 
another one, I'll do the same thing. And that is it. It's attached. Um, let's see. And then I'm just going to take her hay and shove it in there. And it holds quite a bit, and she can just eat right out of that. So it's perfect. Um, it's a perfect place to keep their hay. And again, I will probably just clip these uh, handles right off from this because there's no sense in having them on there. So that is my little trip tip for the week. Um, and I hope you can find these. Again, I'm going to head to the dollar store. Again, tomorrow it was Dollar General where I found the little wire baskets and see if I can't stock up on a few more because I do have new cages coming. So, um, yeah, that's it today. I hope you guys have a great weekend. If you're hot, where, and I think everybody is hot where they're at right now, I hope you guys are staying cool and um, enjoy something creative this weekend.